morning. Mm, Sally, uh, it's better than it has been. So oh, that yeah. is very it's good. It's so much better. It's like night and day up and down the I-5 corridor, you know, 40s and a few scattered showers outside in the gorge. The ice remains. A viewer sent me a great video of herself uh, ice skating around in Hood River. That's making lemons out of lemonade. I'll have to post that on my Facebook page. Here's a look at your weather headlines moving through the end of the week and into the weekend. It's back to normal January weather for the I-5 corridor and out along the coast, meaning we'll be wet at times, scattered showers all the way through Sunday and mountain snow showers. So we've had rain in the mountains the last few days. It's back to snow showers starting today. Dry next week. So there's a light at the end of the tunnel if you're sick of all forms of precipitation. Next week is your week. We'll be dealing with morning fog and afternoon sunshine highs in the low 40s. Here's a look at scattered showers out there. Let me zoom in a little tighter so you can see just how wet it is. If you're headed out to the coast along Highway 26, your windshield wipers will be going fast and furious this morning. Around the immediate metro, mainly dry, but we do have a shower just to the north of Camas and heading on into the gorge. Temperatures here are above freezing, but you get further east in the gorge out toward Cascade Locks and Hood River. We're still below freezing and freezing rain advisories continue. Yamhill County out toward McMinnville and Dallas. We have scattered showers and I'll zoom out and show you it's uh, not rain. Snow is the big issue in the northeast corner of the state. That I-84 corridor has been a mess with blizzard like conditions yesterday and early this morning. Meantime, Bend and Madras, nothing going on except for a whole lot of melting. So a lot of ponding on the roadways there in central Oregon. Winter storm warning out east until 10 o'clock. One to three inches additional snowfall possible with breezy conditions. So no fun driving along I-84. Also through the gorge, I-84 remains closed this morning. Freezing rain advisory east of Cascade Locks into Hood River, the upper Hood River Valley. That's until 6 o'clock tonight with an additional light glazing possible today. So let's take a look at uh, what the next 72 hours hold. This is 9 o'clock in the morning. Scattered showers, I think, on the increase this morning into midday. Some of those will be heavy, maybe a rumble of thunder at the coast. Meantime, snow showers in the Cascades east of the mountains will clear out. It looks like a really pretty quiet day east of the mountains compared to uh, yesterday. Central Oregon, fair amount of sunshine today. 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, another round of rain moving through with snow in the mountains and potentially snow in the gorge. One to two inches of snow possible tomorrow for Hood River in the upper Hood River Valley on top of a lot of ice with temperatures briefly getting above freezing tomorrow, back below freezing, uh, above freezing freezing today, back below freezing tomorrow. Here's the Friday afternoon, 4 o'clock. We're getting out of work and school for the week, and we have a few passing showers around, but plenty of dry time in the mix, too. And you can see scattered showers continue as we roll on into the weekend. It will be wet at times. We'll catch breaks from the wet weather, too. Here's a look at your forecast along the coast. Showers, some will be heavy, slight chance of thunder, with southerly wind 10 to 20 miles per hour, temperatures in the upper 40s, low 50s. Up and down I-5, today. Again, passing showers from time to time. I think we'll get some sun breaks in the mix too with highs in the upper 40s. Morning snow between Pendleton and Baker City out toward La Grande will be clearing out the second half of the day. Melting continues in central Oregon with highs right around 40. Freezing rain advisory through the gorge east of Cascade Locks. We catch a break from the east wind at the west end of the gorge, but it'll be back tomorrow. Snow showers over the Cascades with one to three inch accumulations possible above 3,500 feet. Here's your seven day forecast. Again, tomorrow, rain in the morning and then on and off showers in the afternoon. Wet at times Saturday. Sunday looks breezy and wet, especially the first half of the day. And then we're drying out on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. It looks like we'll enjoy some sunshine. Carly.